Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Wilson. I'm the Medical Director for Palliative Care at Queen of the Valley Medical Center in Napa. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about the ventilator and how it works. A ventilator is a machine that does the work of breathing for the lungs by pushing and removing air through a tube that goes in through the mouth, down through the throat, and into the windpipe that supplies the lungs. These tubes are usually uncomfortable, and so people are given medicine to help them rest and sleep, and usually their hands are restrained so that they are unable to pull the tube out before it's ready to come out. People who are on a ventilator are unable to eat or drink and they're not able to talk usually. Nutrition and fluids are often given by another tube that goes into the stomach from the mouth or nose. We all have the right to make our own medical decisions and we can make better decisions if we have more information. In a sudden illness, the ventilator can keep a person alive for the medical team to treat them. Sometimes people can be on the ventilator for a short period of time and then get off it once their illness starts to improve. People who are younger and healthier usually are able to graduate off a ventilator and breathe on their own again. People who are older, more frail, or have more illness are less likely to successfully get off the ventilator. People who live in a nursing home and get COVID-19 pneumonia are very unlikely to survive after being on a ventilator. In rare cases, people from nursing homes have been able to successfully get off the ventilator machine. Sometimes people are unsure about a ventilator, and so they choose to be treated with it for a short time to see if it will reverse their problem. If you don't tell us in advance, we will always assume that you want to be put on a ventilator. People who decide that they don't want to be put on a ventilator will always get treatment that will help with feelings of shortness of breath or pain. And there are other treatments you could discuss with your doctor that are less invasive than the tube inside the chest. Your doctors and healthcare providers care about you, and we want to be sure that you understand your options and that we understand what choices you would like us to make if you're not able to tell us yourself. So please talk to your doctor or your healthcare team about whether treatment with a ventilator would be right for you should the need arise. You can find information about healthcare decision aids and more at the Coalition's website at www.coalitionccc.org.